fossil fuels, Rita said a few things to say. Some loaded the idea. Others said it would play into OPEC's uh, hands. I got a lot of responses to a recent column on restricting the supply of fossil fuels, one of which said, Oop, no, in the subject line. It was from an economist named Benjamin Ho, who wrote that he usually likes my newsletter, but oh boy, was two days off track. I wrote that while a ban on product production of fossil fuels would bring the economy to a halt if enforced right away. A ban or severe restriction isn't entirely crazy either. If it's a paced in as part of a long-term plan to reduce emissions of greenhouse gases to zero. I'll get to the readers who loved the idea, as well as those who hated it. But I am starting with Ho because his challenge was strong. He's an economics professor at Vasa College and was, uh, was the lead energy economist for the White House Council of Economic Advisors in the George W. Bush administration. The United States is such a big producer of fossil fuel that if it abruptly banned or restricted production, the reduction in supply would drive up the world price of oil, curbing demand. That's the good part. The bad part, Ho wrote, is that banning fossil fuels in the U.S. Uh, just increased profit to OPEC countries that don't abide by the ban and encourage them to drill for more oil.